Okay, today we're going to talk about a website called Adobe Spark. It is a place where anyone can go to transform any idea into stunning visual stories, as they say here. And it's 100% free, especially for teachers and educators and students. So this is a great resource for teachers and students to use in, their, in the classroom. Um, up at the top, you can learn more about how Spark is used for education, but Spark is also used for businesses, and you can use this for a lot of different marketing designs and campaigns like that. So it's great for students to learn how businesses market their products, um, but it's also great for creating visual lessons, essays, reports, projects, etc. So the first thing we're going to do is log in. If you are a teacher or student, your school may have a teacher or student account. However, you can easily create a free account if you have any of these things here. I am going to use my Google account where I have a free account. So I'm going to log in through this. It's going to require me to type in my password. And then it will take me to my videos and my templates. So down here you can see projects where I've played around with Adobe Sparks through this account or showed other people how to use Adobe Spark. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to this blue button up here. We can search templates. So we can select a template we want to create. I think this is great for um, teachers. So if you want to create a lesson plan video or your students want to create a visual report web page or an infographic, they can do that. Or a flyer for your club. But I like to just start from scratch because up here I can create a graphic, a web page, or a video. If you are creating a graphic, depending on what type of graphic you're creating, it might be great to start from a template. But if you're creating a video, I'm going to show you how to do that today. So we want to name this. I'm going to just name this video. And then if I am teaching a lesson, this is a great template to use. Or if my students are telling a story. Um, but they can use these templates to create videos. Or they can just go with a blank template. So I'm going to start with a blank template. I love that it gives marketing tips and um, information to students as well as teachers because this is a great platform for businesses to use and they may have to use this platform when they go into the workforce. So here is my template. So this is a blank template. It's just got a regular blue background um, and I can add information here. My end credits are here and my outro which has the spark logo on it is here so the first thing i want to do is hit this plus sign and then this box will come up if it's not already there and with that plus sign, i'm going to have the option to add things like photos or video or text i'm going to start with photos so i could upload a photo from my computer i could also connect my google photos so through my google account i have pictures uploaded already but first i'm just going to start with free stock photos Today I'm going to tell you the story of Romeo and Juliet, so I'm going to Google love, and I'm going to click on this young couple here, they look pretty young, and then I'm going to position this image however I like it, so I can click this edit tab up here, and that way I can drag the picture up and down however I want. If I want to zoom in or out, I don't feel like I need to zoom in anymore or zoom out anymore, but if I needed to, I could. So that's the first thing is adding an image. The next thing I'm going to do is add some text. So let's say my students were creating an argumentative text where they had to argue whether Romeo and Juliet is an example of true love. So they might answer that question. And then over here, I can add another in, another graphic. So I'm going to start off with a young Romeo. So I'm just going to type in boy. I'm going to find the saddest, loneliest boy I can find because that really fits Romeo's character. 
Oh, this guy looks pretty much like a Romeo, but he looks like a loner who's really into his feelings. And then I'm going to add a Romeo. Oh, where did my tag go? There it went. So I can move that over. And then I need to add Juliet. I'm going to look for a girl who looks very mysterious. She looks too happy for Juliet. Um, this girl looks pretty mysterious. And she looks a little bit Italian, so we'll bring her here. I might zoom out just a little bit on her. And then I'm going to add some text. I can move my text around. I might play with angles, have one on one side and one on the other, one at the top, just depending on how I want to create my, my movie. I can also change how the image looks. So I could have it be a caption, a split screen, and that would show more of the image. A full screen is obviously going to not show more of the image. I can change my font. So if I want my font to have a different feel, it's going to change in a different way too. You can see how the background is going to change and those types of things. So when I split my screen, the, this looks different. So I'm going to stick with that one. And then I can resize my font and things like that by making it bigger, smaller, deleting it all together. So I've got my short video. The first thing I might start off by doing is recording my voice. Romeo and Juliet is a play by William Shakespeare. So I can record this as many times as I want. And then I can back. You can see that there's already music in the background. So up here, I want to go to the music tab. I can select the music to be on or off. I can turn it up or down. But then I can also change it to fit my theme. And I'm going to select this one, Medieval Times, because I think that fits Romeo and Juliet. Now, if I watch my video... So you can see, you can watch your video all the way through. And then at the top, once you're finished with your video, you can hit share. You can publish this video. Um, so I can pick where I want to publish it. I can change the title. But I really want to create a link. Again, it gives you those marketing techniques while it's loading the link. And I think it's really great that students can learn things about even writing and creating throughout this program. So when we talk about branding or we talk about how do we set ourselves apart, that's an important conversation to be having with students. So this is a really wonderful program. It teaches them a lot of things. Except for maybe we shouldn't comment on social media all the time. I'm sorry this is taking a minute. But there we go, we have a link. So we can take that link and we can copy that link and share it, or we can even email it, post it to our Google Classroom, put it on Facebook or Twitter. And we can also embed it. So this is a great tool for Canvas. So if you're creating an instructional video, I showed you how to create those. You could create them through here. And then you can embed the links to those videos on Canvas. So I hope this tutorial was very helpful and how to use Adobe Spark. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns.